Okay, I'll have to dig down here. Damn it, so where is the thing? Like there should be a cracked vessel somewhere here. Ah, there you are. And this is for forage. So I got something for healing. All right then. And here's more spelt. I should probably think about turning around now. But wait, what's that? What is that thing over there? I need to eat. Stone bricks. All right. So there is something down here. Get rid of these things. Now I do need another shovel. These flint shovels aren't very durable, but it's all I have access to at this point in time. Alright, so we got forage and food. That's it. So I get rice. And that's it. Alright. I think it's time to head back. Let's check out that trader and then we'll head back. And here's more spelt. Alright. All right, we got all of that, I think. Yeah. All right, let's check out this trader turnips. No, we're leaving the turnips. And what kind of trader are you? Building materials. All right, so you can give me polished rock and you take You can take opened wooden crates. Now those are things that you find in like ruins and stuff like that. Alright, I'll just close this up. I guess I'll turn back now. Levine bits. Loose meteoric iron pieces. Oh! Alright, I do need to mark this location. Mark it with this. And this. And for good measure, let's put a torch down here. Now I'm not taking rye. So there we go, a man-made structure to mark something out in the wilderness. And that's a very high tier uh, resource there, so it's important to mark that because that is extremely rare. I won't be able to mine it until I can first get some copper, start going up the tech tree. Or not tech tree. How many times did I call it tech tree? It's like you go from the stone age to the copper age, 
then the Copper Age to the Bronze Age, then the Bronze Age to the Iron Age, then Steel Age, then whatever. So right now I'm stuck in the Stone Age because I have no way of smelting metal. Or I do have a way of smelting metal, I just don't have the metal to smelt. And here comes the music. So when the music ends, it's going to be very dark. If this is one of the longer songs that is, I don't remember. But anyway, I can't see any resources on the ground. I'm just going to keep going until I see a lake. That's not a lake. This... Oh, let's not go near that hole. Oh, here's lots of fire clay. Lots of fire clay. Now we're going to need that in order to build the bloomeries. The bloomeries are used for smelting the iron and the quartz. But we'll leave it for now. Well, I should probably leave some landmarks. Just leave that there. Just so we know that I've been here before. Alright, so we're back home. And never mind, it's still bright outside and the music ended. But we did get lots of seeds, so that's good. have a decent amount of flax now. But it's still useless. Let's see, um... Let's get some grains in our system. And what else do we need to do? Let's start chopping down more trees just so we can get that firewood for the next batch of charcoal. So this is really all we can do until we find more copper. So this is difficult. There we go. Cut this thing down. Well, I guess we can also think about building out the buildings that we need built. Like I do need to make a tower for the windmill. Like I already have the resources to start doing that. This takes a long time. And I see some crops over there. I think that's spelt. Yeah, it is. Let's take this.
All right, let's chop down this tree. I still need more protein. Okay, it's starting to get dark. Let's say we have one more hour worth of daylight. Well, let's just go now. We do have access to those little bits of quartz. So we could probably start smelting glass if we really wanted to. Let's just bar this up. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Sure, why not? Okay, so. Let's start cutting this up. One, two, three. We only have three stacks, so we can't start another pile just yet. We'll just store it here for now. And we could just grab an axe like so. That's why we make the tools beforehand. All right, we store this. We have 23 flax, 26 spelt, 20 turnips, three parsnips and four onions. Okay, so what should we do? Um, I guess we'll eat this. Yeah, this is starting to spoil. Start eating our meat. Oh, we don't need to eat anymore. Hang, never mind. This has one more serving. Okay, so let's start the night by continuing this anvil. All right, something collapsed over there. Okay, so let's do the one by ones here. Okay, this is done now. We can smelt it. Let's use our peat and start this. All right, next. What else can I smelt? Or what can I form? Now, the watering can is to water the crops in the field. But we shouldn't need to do that because I'm going to do irrigation. A shovel mold. Now let's hold off on these molds first. Just start with these two molds. Because I don't want to accidentally pour stuff into a mold that I don't want to. Now what I'm going to do is make these shingles. This way I can make a roof for my house. They are going to be doing that all night. Continue making shingles.
You know, this really is tedious. Gotta be a way to automate this or something. Like, I kind of understand why they did it this way, so you can't, like, mass produce it. But at the same time, this is kind of annoying. I guess not as annoying as those guys out there. Oh, shut up. I'm trying to make shingles here. Would you like the help or something? Oh, god damn it. Alright, it is 10.40 at night. This is going to be a long night, isn't it? Okay, this is done. Let's just get that going. And what I want to do is turn these shingles into like roof blocks. And then we can have a nice roof overhead. Okay, that's 12, and then here's 24. Brrr. Yeah, I can do that too. Works. Okay, we have 24. Thirty-six. And here is forty-eight. Let's just put this in here. Oh. Okay, I guess we're putting it in here, lighting this. Now I do need to add two peat in here just so we can finish off these torches. Or, you know what? Let's just take it as is. Put this in here first and then We'll make 48 more shingles. Not sure if that will be enough, but... Whatever, we got nothing better to do. We pretty much have all of the clay uh, stuff we need for smelting. At least at this point in time. Before I start making the iron ingot molds, I'm gonna get my... Uh, hammer and my pickaxe first. Then once I got that going, then I'll uh, get the ingot molds and stuff like that. Alright, it's midnight. And I am still full somehow. Okay, 36, and we are at 48 after this, and then we'll call it good for the time being. And there's a lot of things I still haven't found yet, things like uh, bees, so I haven't found a bee's nest. But once I find it, I'll be able to build a skep and start, like, honey produ production. B 
beeswax and honey production. We're going to need the honey in order to get uh, jam. The honey is used for preserving the fruits, otherwise it turns into this stuff over here. Like, this is almost spoiled. Wait, can we eat this still? Do I want to know what happens if I eat this? Yes, I do. Apparently, I can still eat it. Well, I must be a real savage to be eating that. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, what else can I make? No, that's it for the time being. You know what, let's just get one more set of 48. I mean, I could probably make sets of 60, but it's like doing it one more time. Doing this one more time, I mean. So, I don't know. I just picked 48 for some reason. Okay, so there's two, there's three, there's four, five, six. Wait, I should probably check the pelts now because if they're done I can actually get two additional inventory slots going well, let's get this going first And I'm out of clay. You know what? Let's check this now. Yeah, we have pelts. So we should probably go hunting to get more leather so we can form more of these pelts. Okay, we have 48 now. Okay, sun is coming up. You know what? We should go outside. Start hunting these guys down. Oh, I should put this down. Then we'll put this clay away. Now we should light up the surrounding area over here. All right, come here. Holy shit, that's a lot of them. All right then. Oh, apparently I missed them. Who said you could run away? Oh, come on. Come here, bear. Okay, that's it. Still one guy over there. You want a piece of me? No? 
All right, I'll just carve up your buddies. Take their flax. Yeah, he's just walking away. There's three more over here. Oh, there's another one. Come here. All right, so how much flax did I get from all of that? Got just three? That's not much. Anyway, let's open this door again. Okay, this is still going strong. Just keep this going. Like, we're almost out of peat. Damn. Alright, then. Put this back, and we'll have to dig up some more peat. Get another shovel. And let's put some stuff away. Uh... Okay, there, um, but oh, we also need more reeds. It's 420. It's bright. Nice. So there's a lot of reeds around there, but I'm going to try to find the copper ore again. Like, I know it's around here. I swear to God, I'm not crazy. I know there is copper ore around here. Yes, there it is. There it is. I told you. Totally not crazy. Now what I'm going to do is mark it with hay bales. So instead of the... Cobblestone slabs, I'll mark it with hay bales. Make it much more noticeable. Now, in order to get to the copper age, I need 40 copper nuggets. Which this will not provide me. Alright, let's put this out. Two, three, four, five, six. There. Now it's much easier to see. Like, it was right by our clay deposit as well. But anyway, so there's one, two, three, four. Five, six. So that at most they'll provide us with 18 nuggets. Which is not enough. It's like 12 to 18 nuggets. But anyway, we do need another knife. 